Three hours before kickoff, Alec Weeks, the producer, is rehearsing the outside broadcast unit at Upton Park. From the mobile control room outside the ground, he can talk to his five cameramen setting up their shots for the game. Four cameras are inside the stadium. The fifth is on a mobile crane to give high angle shots of the pitch. Hear me on lazy, Alex. Uh, they both did it, do they, Alex? Give me the players' tunnel, Johnny. Give me the players' tunnel. Yeah, uh, the, in actual fact, they both sit either side. Uh, the police don't sit where it says the police. It's normally West Ham players sit there. So you can expect the uh, Liverpool players sit on camera left, West Ham camera right. Uh, OK, back to the near corner, Johnny. For the producer and the crew, this game is a dress rehearsal. It's the last chance to iron out problems before the Wembley Cup final. Uh, for the isolated camera coverage of the goals and what have you. Uh, Derek, this is very near uh, similar positions to what you'll have at Wembley next week. Okay? The angle, the heights, just a wee bit higher next week, but the angle is roughly the same. Use your zoom, uh, tighten it up on that, that uh, far half. Hold it there, hold it there. Hand it down, there. Lose the crowd, that's it. United! 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 On the touchline, camera four is lining up to take personality shots, while the crane carrying the fifth camera goes up into position 90 feet above the ground. Barry Davis begins his commentary, sitting on the camera gantry opposite the halfway mark. Graham Patton, who gets us going with his trusty left foot. West Ham attacking the goal to our left. Liverpool this afternoon wearing their white shirts. The other half of the operation takes place at Television Centre, where the game is recorded onto tape. Members of the production team log the match to help edit it later on, and an engineer keeps a quality check on the recording. If there are any problems, I've got to chase them back, uh, back along the line to the outside broadcast, uh, try and get agreement on them and try and get them cured uh, so that we lose, lose the, the least amount of uh, programme as possible. But a typical run from Edmund Hughes, the head slightly down, tremendous power in the legs. Gold. A penalty. Alec Weeks talks his cameras into position. Kicker three, goalie four, kicker three. I don't know, we should find out. There's a goalie. Lindsay. Lindsay. Don't drown Barry, don't drown Barry. OK, four, keep the goalie covered. Off. We've been trying on that shot too, on the debris shot too, that's it. The loo paper shot. That's it. OK.
That action replay was produced by this machine, the video disc. It can store up to 36 seconds of action from the game and replay it slowly or freeze it. Today, the producer is putting the replays in later, but next Saturday at Wembley, the disc will be used live. Having recorded on the video disc the material from a videotape machine and selected what we want, we uh, freeze the picture at the beginning of the action and then uh, run through in slow motion, thus. Uh, we watch the action in slow motion until we see a goal scored and then we freeze it again. All set for the second half. The second half is recorded on a new tape at the centre. It's five o'clock, and for the camera crew, the day is over. But back in the center, the videotape must be edited. 90 minutes is shortened to 25, concentrating on the highlights. dubbing over the required sections from that tape onto this one, which is originally an empty tape, but which will finally have the whole program, the edited program, which will be about 25 minutes. From our venues, the head slightly down, tremendous power in the legs. Let's hear this one first. Good evening, Shank, the Liverpool manager. Coach's team must be feeling rather like the tortoise. We found that the hare suddenly woke up and found more breath. All well, right. Are we coming right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll start. I don't I'll want to stay long because I want to do this thing. Alec Weeks would usually go back to the studio, but today he's going to his office to plan for Wembley. How does he feel about today's coverage? Today it was okay. It went off okay, but primarily most of our thoughts were on next week. Uh, I've had this this crew, camera crew, most of season. We've just got one bite of the cherry, this match, and it went off OK. And today it was just a question of sitting back, polishing the odd points for the cup final next week. One of the teams, Liverpool, was playing, and uh, today it was OK. If we're on this form next week, we'll, uh, we'll be OK. Did anything go wrong? Uh, yes, we, uh, we had a few problems. We lost the camera, 10, 12 minutes from the end. You lose cameras, cameras break down. But the crew just took it in their stride and the viewers wouldn't miss anything. Up to the crowd, about 20 yards away. Eight o'clock. In the studio, Sam Leach, the editor and now head of sports programmes, is going over the show with Martin Hopkins, the studio director. They're discussing the end piece, which is an editorial comment on the crowd behaviour at the Manchester United game. Better shots, Terry tells me. Later so, shots? Yeah, well, better shots. Are the police, are the police among them? Yes, that's the point. He's going to cut us a nice sequence, call it 40, 50 seconds worth, um, and but, which, when we know about, I mean, the point is, I think they'll be good enough to just run them loose. Mm -hmm. Jimmy doesn't have to keep talking the whole no, time. No, because on the, P the PA tonight, it's a good story, when Busby's saying... Off that we shall have to fence them in. Sorry? Yeah. That caption with the three, for the end caption with the three bits on, they're magnetic, you can take them off where you want them. Could I have camera one over to Jimmy's position, camera two looking straight across that other seat, camera three in the first plane. Yeah. Audrey, can you phone Val upstairs? Can you phone Val? Well, if you give me the first two on there, right, I don't want the sports night one, because I've got that already on VT, and I'll be supering those over VT on the trail at the end. So they're both super captions, two separate ones, quick change in between. <coughs> Thank you. 
That's it. That's it. That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you set for the night. <laughs> Does Jimmy say he's gonna come in at nine or I want, Huey, will be when you've got the Tom Finney super up in yellow. Half an hour to go. Martin Hopkins is rehearsing the camera positions and captions. Tonight, the opening part of the show will be pre-recorded, but Jimmy Hill's analysis of the game will be live. Could you pause for a moment, then we'll give you the TJs. When on the pitch, we've seen football players in the third day. Last-minute changes to Jimmy Hill's script are discussed, with only a few minutes to go. So severely, really, isn't it? Because it's, it's everybody's going to all the rugby players going to say, "Oh, look at this." Oh, so severely. Which we'll get oh, in a minute. Thirty seconds more. Okay, Chris. Sunday papers without actually showing yes. it. Well, it's a and good. And saying yeah. that we know that the Sunday papers, yeah, three quarters of the space is going to be taken up sure. on yeah. about this yeah. incident and not about the, the well the forty six games that were played. Yeah. I tell you what we've got at the end now. The news cameras went into. Loftus Road. Yeah. So we've got that little thing. Instead of doing that other rather sort of touchy item, tired item with Leeds, we've got the new stuff today. The little oh, line saying this is how they ended the season with 62 points and, and bows to the crowd. And bows to the crowd. <laughs> This is a big moment of the Saturday night coming up now. <laughs> Yours and mine. <laughs> I've got the letter from Moon. Uh, not Moon. What's the name? Quentin! 30 seconds to go. Stand by VT. Stand by Jimmy. Stand by studio. Run VT, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and take us. Welcome to Match of the Day on the last Saturday of the Football League season and what a farewell flourish of action and controversy.